Once again, guys, this is Investor Show. As always, this is your host, Prince Dice, coming to you guys live with another great, awesome video. Still out here in Japan for a little bit. But anyway, uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. I did away with the animations. I'm just going to give it to you guys straight and simple and to the point. Uh, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. If you like the video, give me a thumbs down. If you think the video sucks, drop a comment. Tell me how I can get better. But as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. So anyway, guys, you can, as you guys already saw in the description box, that the the purpose of, the, of this video is going to be how to set alerts on TD Ameritrade. Why would you want to set an alert on TD Ameritrade or any stock uh, platform? Is that you may own a stock at 20 bucks, and you may be looking to sell it at 30 bucks. So how do you know when to sell it at 30 bucks if you're not watching it every day? You could have an email or a text message sent to you saying, hey, guess what? The stock is at 30 bucks. Maybe you want to trigger the sale. Or hey, guess what? The stock is trading down to 10 bucks. Maybe you want to buy. Or hey, guess what? This is going on or whatever the case may be. You can have these alerts come to your phone where you don't have to sit and hit the refresh button all day and all along. All that good stuff like that. Now, how do you do that? First, you're going to go to research and alerts. You see research, you're going to go to alerts, it's going to bring this up to you, right? Now, I don't have a portfolio here, so it may ask you here, delivery option. You're going to click on delivery options. This is how you can set up with email if you want to come to, if you want to get it by a text message, if you got a pager, oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, uh, what type of, um, how you want to receive it or whatever, that's your delivery options, right? Now, we're going to go back. And we're going to go to, if you had a portfolio alert, I don't have a portfolio here. You can set alerts inside of your portfolio of when to buy and sell. Click here on security options. Let's say if you're talking about a stock like, uh, let's say Ford. Let's hit F for example. Create a new alert. Now you got to create a new alert. Now you can see here, I can't activate it right now because I don't have my delivery options set up on this account. But you can say, hey, if this stock rises above or drops below this dollar amount, boom. You know, you can hit activate to have it sent to you. The net change, if it rises, uh, if the net changes from previous close, which is the previous close right here, if it rises or goes below this, you know, send me an alert. Purchase price, uh, the 52-week high, if it, you know, the highest has been in 52 weeks, which is in a year, the lowest has been. If it hits in this range, let me know. Um, if the stock crosses the 15 day moving average, the 20 day moving average, you can set that on here. Dividends, when a dividend is payable, hit me one day or when you want to, uh, to know when dividend expiration date is. If you're probably looking to invest to get paid dividends, if you want to get paid the date that they are paid, you can click here. All type of little things. These are big, um, Rating Agency, Research Team, Credit Susie, The Street, S&P Capital IQ. These are people that go out and look at stocks, and they give a stock one, two, three, or four stars that they think is good or whatnot. They're rating agencies. And usually, if they uh, downgrade a uh, stock, it usually has a sell-off. If they upgrade it, people usually buy it because people watch these agencies or whatnot. So if somebody downgrades your stock, you may be looking to buy it, you may be looking to sell it, whatever the case may be, Right? So news alerts, when somebody put out news, you may, hey, a press release comes out, I want to have that sent to my phone. You can do that exact same thing here if you want to do the index, right? Like I just click index right here, and exact same thing, the index rises above this, the index does this, crosses a 15 day average, uh, you want market alerts, you know, all the way down to if you want bond alerts, you know, stocks on the move, uh, the gainers and winners frequency. If you want to get any type of alerts on that, um, you can even go down all the way down here to bonds. All of the cool stuff you can do with bonds, and you can put in the uh, C. You can put in. I think this is the number that pretty much you get if you buy a bond. But I want to get too deep into it. Just want to set it to you guys. If you have bonds, some you can type in your uh, CU ISP, and you can set alerts on it for if you already purchased a bond. And that's it. I didn't do delivery options because I want to show y'all that that to you guys. But if I had clicked that and set up my delivery options, you could uh here it is, right? You can you can do it this way too. Delivery options and you can go to history if you already had set up some alerts for the last 90 days 
and see how they're doing. You can delete them and all of the good stuff. But anyway, that's how you can set alerts for particular stocks inside of TD Ameritrade. I hope that helped you guys. Hope you uh, hope to help you in your um, day trading or swing trading, whatever type of trading you're doing. Um, until the next video, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, and share button. To the next video, you guys, all know what to do. Peace, be safe. I'm out. Thank you.